All right, so we are going to talk about functions. Uh, now, what is a function? In this case, uh, our function is called f, and it takes an element from a and maps it to an element from b. And a is our domain, b is our codomain. More formally, a uh, function associates each element of a with exactly one element of b. So this would be a function. And now I know what you're going to say. Well, you know, if a function associates each element of A with exactly one element of B, then how are B and A both pointing to the same thing? Um, and what, uh, that doesn't look like an arrow. Let's do that again. All right, so again, a and B are both pointing to the same thing, so how is how are we you know associating each element of A with exactly one element of B? Uh, it's because we're not doing something like this. You know, we're not saying okay, well A points to two and three and one. That would no longer be a function, um, but this is because A only points to one thing, B only points to one thing, and the same is true for C and D. These can point to the same element in your codomain, but neither of them points to two elements of the codomain. Now there are different types of functions. One of the types you'll be hearing about a lot is injective, uh, also known as one-to-one, -one. and what this means is that uh, no two elements of your domain map to the same, or um, sorry, no, no two, actually, yeah, no, no, that was right, okay, no two elements of the domain map to the same element in the codomain, and that wording doesn't really make sense, no two elements in the domain map to the same element in the codomain. And so this would not be um, this would not be injective. If I was going to make this injective, I would have to say something like this. And I'm going to get rid of that for this example. Uh, so to be injective, a would map to 1, b could map to 3, and then you know c could map to 2 or 4. Um, None of these elements in our domain are now pointing to the same element in our codomain. But not every element of our codomain has to be used. This is what's called our range, uh, and the range is just the potential outputs for your inputs. And um, um, yeah, not, not every element of your codomain has to be in your range in order to be injective or even to be a function. And to be injective, all of these guys can only point uh, or uh, cannot point to the same thing as another one. So A could not point to 3, B could not point to 1. Your domain has to have uh, no two elements in your domain can map to the same element in your codomain. Now, let's talk about another kind of function called surjective, also known as on2. And what this means is that every element, every element in your codomain is also in your range. And these aren't really like formal definitions, but they kind of help explain the concepts pretty well in my opinion. I think this is a little more straightforward than some of the definitions you'll find out there. So every element in the codomain is also in your range. Now what this means is you can have something that looks a little bit more like um, this. So let me see here. A, B, C. And we could do, let's get rid of that for this example, and we'll add something to our domain. So in order to be surjective, we could do something like this. We could go back to our original 
statement where a and b both map to one, c let's say c maps to three, and d maps to two. Uh, the arrow curves because I kind of changed my mind midway. I don't like doing these straight across because it's like you know they don't have to work out that way. You just have to you know map something to something. But anyways, all right. So this is surjective because every element in our codomain is now part of the range. Uh, in other words, through this function, every element in our codomain can be reached somehow. There are no items that are not um, able to be an output. And now I know what you're saying. Well, it's like, okay, well, this is no longer injective. A and B both map to the same element in our codomain. Um, but there is a way to be both surjective and injective, and that is something called a bijective. Uh, and let me draw a picture of a bijective function. So to be bijective, let's, let's add in another element to our, make sure you can see those well-written words up there in my usual tremendously neat handwriting. Um, a, bi a bijective function would be something like this. All right, so A goes to two, B goes to one, C goes to three, D goes to four. Um, no two elements in the domain map to the same element in the codomain, and every element in the codomain is also in the range, or it can also be reached through this function. This is now a bijective function. And I'm gonna go over one more thing before I sign off. There's oftentimes a lot of confusion between the definition of injective and just the regular old definition of a function because people see exactly one element and they assume, okay, well, you know, this is a function because this points to exactly one, nothing else points to this. But, you know, if, if we go back to our uh, initial example where we said, okay, this is a function, you know, A, B, C, D, oh, oh, that's, a, that's an arrow to two, I'm not gonna redraw it. Um, A points to exactly one element in the codomain. Um, a and B both point to the same thing, but neither of them points to multiple things. And that is the definition of a function. But to be injective, no two elements in the domain can map to the same element in the codomain. It's a little confusing, I know, but this is a function that is not injective, and this is a function that is injective. All of these elements map to a unique element of the codomain. But in the other case, all of these elements, and I'll draw it again just to, just to be completely clear, because um, it is a little tricky, but all of these elements now map to exactly one. These map to the same thing, but they map to exactly one. So just make sure you, uh, make sure you really look out for that, because this is common to come up on exams is, is just kind of knowing the difference between the definition of a function and the definition of an injective function. All right, thank you so much for watching.